Welcome everyone. Today we're gonna continue on part seven of this series of tutorials. Uh, so far we have done a lot, but now we need to ask the customer if they accept the charge for this um, Shopify application. Some are free, but in this case we're gonna try to make it so we can so you guys know how to charge for your program. So what we're gonna do here on part seven is redirect the customer to a specific URL. And I have a method call as customer charge, and we're gonna pass what their shop name is and their access token. So we're gonna go into it. And we're gonna see what's going on in this section the code to keep it simple all we need to do is have a class called recruiting because in this case we're gonna be charging every month every month will be a charge to the customer so this class is very simple if we go into it you're gonna see that it has just one property charge and this property is made out of a, another class called charge details and as you can see the JSON property is recruiting underscore application underscore charge it's very important to have that because we're gonna serialize this object to JSON so if we take a look at the charge details here we see that we have a name of the program our program the price what you're gonna charge and a return URL in the trial days if you have any trial time and if you are doing a testing so for testing we can we can just say uh, true for testing and the shop is not gonna get charged for it so I'm gonna close this uh, class go back here and that's what the recruiting is so the recruiting we have a charge we're gonna uh, has the values for our <coughs> charge details and as you can see you can name anything you want here uh, the price we're gonna pass in we're gonna just say $20 the return URL that's where we're gonna check depending on what the customer does if they accept or decline uh, Shopify is gonna send you back or send a customer to this location so it's gonna be your uh, domain your controller and your action here in this case I'm saying hey come back come back with a shop name <clears throat> and here trial days I just said two you can do anything you want here you can say zero if you want or as many days as you like and then for testing we're gonna say true and then <clears throat> here we have another method called create the charge so, so far we declare what we want in our charge. Now we're going to actually ask Shopify, please create this charge. And we're going to pass the token, the shop, and our object. If we go to this method, create charge. We'll scroll down. Here we're using again REST sharp, REST client. So here we're creating our admin URL and here is the endpoint for the REST API recruiting underscore application underscore charge dot JSON and we're gonna post because we're creating and we're gonna pass our token for this specific store and then we're gonna serialize whoops I can't do the enter right now I'm running the code but you serialize the object the recruiting object into JSON you add it to the body just like the rest of the calls before and then you make the call to Shopify and then <coughs> you come back with a result so as you can see here it's gonna come back with the uh, IRS response and then you check the code if it was created then you're good you can now grab that object that Shopify sent you back and you're gonna deserialize it and 
this object here it has all the details for the charge that you just made so if we go to it as you can see here it says recruiting application charge in this case I'm not just I'm not using the JSON property or just I just name the property as it is just to keep it short and simple and then we have a it's made out of this class which is down here so to keep it simple I just left it inside the same class uh, and then all I need right now for these values from the return is this decorated return URL that's where I need to send the customer to so that's all about that class so as you can see here I got it then I guess you guys can save it to the database and now we need to send the customer somewhere and that's what I'm saying here uh, return uh, this string which is the confirmation URL this is where the customer needs to go and get and check or, or click on accept or decline so we're gonna redirect the customer to that location so I'm gonna close this one go back up and as you can see here this is what this, this is doing it creates the charge and it redirects the customer to a URL when they go to the accept or decline uh, URL they are depending on what they do it actually doesn't matter what they do they click accept or decline they are gonna come back to this one charge result and they're gonna come back with a shop in the charge ID so here all I'm doing is saying okay let's go back to the database and get the token for that shop because on uh, NVC you won't save anything it's stateless so we're gonna go pull it out the token and then we're gonna see what's going on find out if the customer accepted the charge or not so we're gonna ask Shopify hey was this charge ID accepted or declined or something else happened and we're gonna take a look at this one now and as you can see all it's, it's doing is a get and it's calling the recruiting application charge with that for that specific charge ID and we're gonna come back with the result so comes back with the results and here it will be a good idea if you update your your charge details from your into your database because your recruiting status is gonna be different now when you created the charge status was gonna was um, processing or created now you have a different status you're gonna have multiple status but in this case I'm just checking for decline so if the status is declined you need to tell the customer hey something happened uh, you didn't accept the charge or something like that but if if everything works fine or they accepted your charge so you're gonna save that charge ID and then <clears throat> what you're gonna do is now that they accept it you need to follow this step if not your amp will not be will not get um, credit for or you won't get any money in, in the month that you the customer used it so make sure after you get the charge and they accept it you make make sure you activate the charge so I have another one here another method this one is gonna activate it when I go there as you can see we are sending the charge ID and we're saying activate that JSON we're gonna post that and just like before we're gonna come back with the result back here so depending what happened if it's okay then you're done uh, the customer is gonna get charged by Shopify in the next month and then all you need to do is send a customer to your application let them view uh, your program and you're done and if not if the cre okay, it's not okay when you activate it then you need to tell the customer hey something happened it failed in my example I'm just using the contact page of the default home controller just to make it simple 
but you guys will need to change that to explain what happened in more detail so we're gonna try this um, this is it for the for this series we're gonna see it now I'm gonna open up my test shop and as you can see I don't have anything yet so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the application and hit get and we're gonna install it okay this is normal we've seen this before then the difference now is that is that it's going to ask us for approval this is what uh, part 7 is talking about making this screen available to the customer so now they can decline or as approve the charge and as you can see we have the $20 that's the name that we set up on the on the server and $20 two days trial and we're going to click approve charge it should take us to a page now in this demo it would just say customer accepted the charge good job so this means that now that customer accepted your application and your code is ready to go to charge any shop so hopefully this will help you out I will post this code in github so you can copy and paste it into your uh, project for testing thank you for watching